So with us in studio now to give us some tips on how to avoid these kinds of scams is Senior Forensic Investigator from Sleuth Investigative Services, Davi Nodir. So Davi, I mean, looking at this, you can't actually believe that it would actually happen in real life, but in, in, indeed you deal with scams like this and a whole array of others. So what kind of scams are out there that we should be watching out for? Katleho, uh, morning. Well, basically it's, it's the online scams yeah. going around and this is like a tip of the iceberg. Uh, type of thing, yeah. which, which uh, <laughs> typically in South Africa, where scams will be scammed. Uh, yes. <laughs> Normally, the online scams are the thing. This is where the most common. Yeah, yeah, it's where people like you and me advertise something we want to sell, and then the scams just get hold of them, mm -hmm. basically contacting them and then uh, giving them false information with the pretensions to buy this, do a fake deposit, and convince them by SMS that they've actually deposited the money. Yes. Sometimes it's just a check which has just been. Uh, deposited four o'clock in the afternoon. Very difficult to, to verify, but the, the funds will reflect as available, uh, well, in your the, in your account, but yes. not available yet. And then you, in that good faith, you want to believe someone out there. You want you want you want to uh, to get your money's worth. You then hand them over the goods, mm -hmm. and then that is how you get scammed. And you're also saying that people that are out there looking for love should actually be very careful. Yes. Why is that? Yes. We, I don't know. It's most probably human nature. But uh, you get a lot of people out there, lonely people, being divorced. Maybe the loved one has passed on. What they then do, they engage these these sites where they actually meet people. Normally, it would be a person from overseas. But in most cases, it is a scamster. Yeah. He then prey on this innocent person. What they do, they go to a, a, a web of deceit. Mm -hmm. They they befriend them and they carry on with this emo emotional roller coaster. And at some point, they will let them know they need money. They're in a difficult situation. They're held up in some African country between passports. And the child is being held. Right. And I've had cases where people have literally handed over hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of rands. Wow. Not only South Africans, I've had American clients wow. all over the world. So what tips do you have there for people to not be scammed in this kind of way? Well, uh, the, 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 the most vulnerable person out there is the person who is greedy. Mm -hmm. Because greed will lead to your demise. Greed and, and, and you want to make a quick buck. Yeah. If you feel that things are not kosher and things uh, doesn't seem like going your way, yeah. just walk away from it. Mm -hmm. Walk away from it and, and do another deal with someone else. Mm -hmm. And be very careful out there because the scams just troll the net. And they're mm -hmm. looking for individuals like us. Scam. Yeah, and I mean, you were telling me earlier on also that one of the most common ones is these ones that we get from SARS, you know, South African Revenue yes. Service, oh. like, we owe you this much, hey, yes. give us your banking details, Th right? That's so common, and you know, it, 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 you, you send out 100,000 unsolicited emails like that, you will get 1% of people who will reply to that. Even with the things we have to verify, your online banking pins and stuff, yeah. people sometimes, they just give in and they do it, I don't know if they just don't think. But just delete it, treat it as a spam, and, yeah. and, and, and don't trust anybody in the, on the internet. Exactly. Because remember, you're dealing with a faceless person. Yeah. And yeah. Most of the times, it's con. Wow. Well, so if somebody is scammed, what can they do? What's the recourse? Well, uh, yeah. nothing much in the short term, but in the long term, what you can do, should you go to your police station, open a theft case, theft under false pretenses, yeah. or fraud case. Depends on the merit of how you were scammed. Mm -hmm. And or you can also contact somebody like us in the, in the private industry, Indeed. who can then on your behalf act and investigate in conjunction with SAPS. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Darby. We really appreciate your insights this morning. Thank you, Kat. So there you